Part number, uh, skill number 19, distant direct ophthalmoscopy. Uh, with the previous method, method of focal elimination, we know how to examine the anterior surface of the eye. But mm -hmm. how can we examine the inner structures? Mm -hmm. With the help of two next methods, this indirect and indirect ophthalmoscopy, or another name of indirect is retinoscopy. Um, this indirect ophthalmoscopy, based on the very simple and, of course, well known phenomena, phenomena of red eye. You know what does mean on photos, from time to time you see red, mm -hmm. red pupil. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it good or bad? bad. Yeah. No, it's bad for photo. For photo. But it's, it's, good, good for it's good for the person. Yeah. What does it mean if we talk about the uh, red eye on the photo? Flesh, um, light yeah, from yeah. the flesh, come through, through yeah, all the transparent mediums of yeah. the eye, through the pupil, uh, come through the crystalline lens, vitreous body, which behind the crystalline lens, mm -hmm. and get retina. retina. And then return yeah. on the photofilm in form of reflex. Yeah. But reflex change the color because uh, reflection from the pigment epithelium of retina and surrounded Haroid consists of a great deal of blood vessels, and uh, this reflex is red, as a result of a great deal of blood vessels. And on the photo you see it, but uh, why is it good? Because it means that the, all the inner structures are transparent. Mm -hmm. we, we understand that they are transparent if you have good red reflex. If there will be partial opacities of crystal lens, like in case of uh, cataract, cataract, not major, but immature cataract, no, early stages of cataract, or uh, maybe opacities in the vitreous body, they usually, uh, it's a, like a gel, I mean vitreous body, and they are like, a, they, they are moving, in case of cataract they are fixed, in case of vitreous, uh, vitreous body opacities they are moving, and uh, you see them on the photo, or during our examination, like a black spots, dots, uh, on the red background. If there will be total opacity of the lens, for example, crystal lens, major cataract, the so-called major cataract, uh, advanced cataract, uh, you see no reflex at all. It may be grayish, maybe whitish, maybe yellowish, maybe mm -hmm. um, greenish, or even brownish in mm -hmm. case of intraocular tumors, which cover the vitreous body, which cover the retina. Uh, but you see no red reflex mm -hmm. at all. So, how to perform during our process? We use ophthalmoscope. Ophthalmoscope, you know, consists of a mirror and a uh, hole in the center. You are like a photofilm. Yeah? I mean, you're written, written of the doctor. Yes, uh, position of the lamp. Opposite the patient. Patient here. No, 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 we're good. Let's do it here. We add one more lamp. It will be formed. Focal elimination, this will be formed. This one. Position of the lamp, opposite the doctor. Opposite the doctor. You look uh, through the aperture in the center. And of course, only I, during the examination, can see uh, the fundus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only that person who look through the aperture. It's like a diaphragm in the photo. Mm -hmm. Principles are the same. Our eye like an uh, optic instrument, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our pupil like a diaphragm. Mm -hmm. Different chambers, yes. Focus. It's just a physics. That's just a simple physics. Yes. Which so uh, it's better to use concave mirror uh, because uh, if you try to focus, it may, it's necessary to put the focus of light rays in the patient's mm -hmm. pupil, mm -hmm. yeah? and then. To, towards the retina. Uh, in case of, you see, in case of uh, plane mm -hmm. mirror, uh, foco is very blurred. Mm -hmm. yes. But concave it, is... In concave, it's, converge. Yes, it, it, it converge, and yeah. of course, it, it's intensity of light increases. Yes. Distance from your eyes to patient eye, about 20 centimeters. So rather closer, because it's necessary to see clear. Mm -hmm. Sm mild, um, uh, small opacities, you can't see at large distance. Like this. So now I, I'm looking through the aperture, the center, other you can close like this. And then now I put the light in his right pupil, and now I see the red reflex from the fundus of the right pupil. Normal red reflex, everything is okay. Yes. But opacity may be somewhere on the periphery. It's necessary to ask the patient to, to turn his eye, only his eye, up, down, left, right, like this. Look up, please. Look down. Now, eyelash 
clothes, so I use my hand to pull it up, look to the left, and look to the right. Look to the right. He has normal red reflex, you know, for main direction. Mm -hmm. Doctor, mm -hmm. how can we determine if the patient has a HNO patch uh, hyper? Uh, inner structures are transparent. Mm -hmm. No, your but conclusion will be red reflex uh, from the fundus. It will be okay. But uh, professor may additionally ask you, uh, what does it mean, red reflex from the fundus? Normal red reflex. It means that inner structures are transparent. You will, okay. you will explain him, okay? But uh, brief uh, conclusion will be uh, red reflex from the fundus of the right, then of the left eye. Clear. I must hope through which you use. Uh, there will be time for it as well. Yes, you can take two. And the last in this portion, then I'll give you time to, to examine each other. <coughs> Indirect after